Good morning, welcome to Vlogmas Day 5, that sounds correct. Um, what am I reading? Um, boy howdy is this a questionable book. Um, so I'm 100 pages in now and we're getting more into the main character's backstory about why she refuses to form relationships with anybody in her community. And turns out it's because her foster sister groomed her and set her up with a man who I'm assuming is going to be at some point abusive or weird because um, something also helps happens with the foster sister so anyways it is it is not good not good in the hood um, but I will read more of that later I'm just going to start editing my vlog got the computer heating up um and I'm going shopping with my brother and my dad today, so we'll see how everything goes. I will update you soon. was waiting for my video to upload um because i'm going out today i decided that i'd kit a couple of cross stitches so i kitted this one which is going to be for a friend her character was recently killed and uh this one which i have the fabric coming for so there's a couple of threads that i still need to get for both of those projects so i'll pick them up while i'm out today and um Give me something to look forward to. Uh, still waiting for this baby right here to do a good job at downloading my video onto my computer so I can upload it to YouTube. But soon. Soon. I just got home from shopping with my dad and my brother. We got most of our Christmas shopping done, which is great. Uh, there'll just be probably a couple things to pick up closer to the day. Um, but I did get a couple things for myself. Um, first, I got a new mascara um, by Lila. Uh, it was the one that this person at Sephora recommended to me based on my eyelashes shape. So we'll see how this works. I got just like this tiny size. I also bought the Laneige eye cream. Um, I use all of their other products, so I thought I would use 
this one as well. Um, and I pre I ordered these from Indigo. Um, it's just more lights. So there's that. And of course, um, I, uh, I got a book, but it looks so cute. Uh, it's called Kiss Her Once For Me by Alison Cochran. Um, look at them. One year ago, a recent Portland transplant, Ellie Oliver, had her dream job in animation in a Christmas Eve bookstore meet cute with a woman she fell in love with over the course of a single night. But after betra a betrayal the next morning and the loss of her job soon after, she finds herself adrift, alone, and desperate for money. Since finding work at a local coffee shop, she's getting through the days. Until Andrew, the shop's landlord, proposes a shocking drunken plan. A marriage of convenience that will give him his recent inheritance and alleviate Ellie's financial woes in isolation. They decide to spend the holidays together at his family's cabin to keep up the ruse. But when Andrew introduces his fiance to his sister, Ellie is shocked to discover that his sister is Jack, the mysterious woman she fell for last Christmas Eve. Now over, now, over one very festive week, Ellie must choose between the safety of a fake relationship and risk it all for something real. I, I mean, come on, come on. Could you say no to this? I couldn't. I couldn't. I also got some floss, which I didn't bring back to show you because it's not very exciting. I got seven different flosses, so. <laughs> but uh, while I have you, a captive audience, let's uh, do tarot for today. Mm, okay, cards. Tell me what I need to know. I think that's enough shuffling. Offerings. I give to you my heart's intent wrapped in gratitude and thankfulness, devotion in exchange for your presence here. I am gifting my essence. So, so it looks like that's a nice card. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, let's see if it gives me any more information in the book though. The keywords are devotion, exchange, and balance. Do you finish what you start? Do you show off your commitment through devotion to your craft and your self-mastery? Offerings are an essential part of magic. They show your willingness to commit to your art through sacrificing something such as your time, money, or an idea you've held on to. All worthwhile things will require an offering of you. Perhaps to change careers, you need to take a class and to receive a certification. This is an offering of time and money. It may mean sacrificing your social life or time at home. To move to an exotic place will mean saying goodbye to your loved ones in favor of new experiences and adventures. Whatever you give up will be replaced by something bigger and more aligned with your soul. Offerings remind you that you cannot take shortcuts on the journey to your desires. You must be willing to put in the work to do what is required of you to manifest your dreams. Remember that a novice never becomes a master overnight. Stay the course and learn your craft. Stay the course and and your craft. This message is amplified for you if the forest has also appeared in your spread. So, interesting. Interesting stuff. Um, but, uh, I'm gonna go do something. So, I'll catch up with you later.
So today's vlog might be a little bit shorter than the other ones. Um, so far all of them have been 14 minutes, which is kind of crazy um, when you think about how much you do in a day and how it can be distilled down into 14 minutes. Um, but it was a good day, a productive day, got lots done. Uh, tomorrow I'm probably going to do my Christmas cards. Um, I have some family stuff going on right now. so. You know, it's hard to plan for things. Um, I also really want to finish the Chocolate Pot Cafe book. Um, I haven't really gotten that far into it yet. I haven't done any... Well, sorry. I haven't gotten any further in it yet. I haven't read it all today. Um, so I was just... I was busy doing other things. So I'm going to read a little bit before I go to sleep. And I'll update you on that tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you for day six.